Hello all. Welcome to a new episode of Professor Argan. Today I'm going to discuss a fundamental idea about scientific equipments used in laboratory and their varied property for which specifically those are invented. And surely I'm going to share some tricks that you can apply when this lab wear cause trouble. Stay tuned with me. We need to know the importance and applicability of different lab wear and make sure of a safe usage accordingly. Let's start. Balance used for obtaining the masses of solid and liquid samples. Beaker a flat bottom cylindrical piece of glassware used for mixing and heating compounds. Booms and burner attached to a gas line and lead to provide heat for your experiment. Burette an extremely accurate device with a stopcock at the bottom used to measure volumes of reagents. Ceramic square used to avoid burning the surface of your lab bench clamps used to hold a variety of things in place particularly test tubes clay triangle used to hold a crucible condenser used to collect vapors by condensing them into liquid as they contact the liquid cooled inner surface of the condenser crucible a cup shaped container capable of sustaining high temperature it is used to heat chemicals crucible tongs used to handle the hot crucible allen meyer flask used to hold liquids the small upper opening slows evaporation so some volatile liquid a flask is a better choice than a beaker the shape also makes it suitable for mixing and swirling liquid during a titration florence flask a type of flask generally round bottom usually suspended and heated from below its shape makes it easy to swell and mix liquids inside of it funnel used together with a filter paper to filter precipitates out of solution graduated cylinder used to precisely measure volumes mortar and pestle used to grind chemical compounds for chemistry experiments though we recommend using a different set for each preparation pipette bulb used to transfer accurately measured amount of liquid from one container to another rubber stoppers used to close flask or test tubes to prevent evaporation of liquid or escape of gases scapula or spatula is used to transfer solids from one place to another test tube cylindrical open topped piece of glassware that comes in varying sizes watch glass a piece of glassware in the shape of a large contact lens used for evaporating liquid wire gauge generally used as a surface for a beaker or flask to rest when being heated by a bunsen burner boston round bottle or winchester quart bottle generally used for the storage of liquid solid or cream type pharmaceutical compound can you tell me why it is amber in color most of the lab wear are made of glass or glassware which are used to hold chemicals and reagents for performing experiments glass is nothing but a non crystalline amorphous solid with transparent properties among different variety silicate glass is the oldest form of glass known to mankind derived from the chemical compound silica which is primarily found in sand another form of soda lime glass which is majorly constitutes of silicon dioxide sodium oxide from sodium carbonate calcium oxide and various minor additives borosilicate glass is a type of glass which is mainly constitutes silica and boron trioxide these are also designed to have a better coefficient of thermal resistance than soda lime glass a slight plastic odor may be detected when handling pyrex plus laver this is due to the additive in the plastic coating which are responsible for its superior performance the odor is normal and will not affect the inertness of a of the inside borosilicate glass surface many chemistry lab glassware applications do not require full transparency and need to block ultraviolet and infrared radiation from the spectrum of light here amber color is coated on the lab glassware by adding metallic salts although silicate glass is quite brittle and can break down easily but it has a very long life if used with extensive care different types of laboratory glasswares are designed as per application and need cobalt blue glass play an important part in flame test 
Can you tell me why? If you know, answer is in comment section. Silanized is another form of glassware which is specially treated with silicon to prevent layering and sticking of samples to the glass. Most new glassware is slightly alkaline in reaction. For precision chemical test, new glassware should be soaked several hours in acid water and it can be 1% solution of hydrochloric acid or nitric acid before washing. Sometime while working in chemical laboratory, we might face some issues related to labware. Here I am sharing some tips to be followed. Examine all glassware for scratches, cracks and sharp edges before using. Even a small scratch can cause a failure if used under vacuum or heated due to uneven expansion and compression. And if it will happen, always make sure you have a suitable glass cut proof gloves or puncture resistant clothes with you. Neck of a bottle is quite delicate but never carry Winchester bottles or any volumetric flask by the neck. Always use an approved carrier for them. Do not store alkaline liquids in volumetric flasks or burets. Stoppers or stopcocks may stick. Dirty glassware is definitely a big no to start any reaction. Make sure those are always clean before starting the reaction. So we have to clean it with first a water wash, then soap wash, then deep into solution of KMnO4 or potassium dichromate solution. Chromic acid solution can be used repeatedly until it begins to turn a greenish color. Clean glassware that has become cloudy or dirty or contain coagulated organic matter with specific detergents or cleaning agents such as the Decon 90 or cleaning agents such as Nochromix mixed with sulfuric acid. Remove lubricants grease by boiling glassware in a weak solution of sodium carbonate before using flammable solvents such as acetone consider less hazardous alternative. Silicon grease is most easily removed by soaking the glassware for 2 hours in a warm deca hydro naphthalene. Keep the nozzle of your burner clean as sometimes chemical spillage might occur intentionally during doing the flame test or unintentionally during any solution bump. The Bunsen burner you always have to clean any blockage in the jet using a stove pin or a piece of wire. Clean off any encrusted deposits using a fine grade sandpaper or emery cloth. Otherwise wash the jet in water or use a little dilute hydrochloric acid for heavy stains or persistent coating. So this is the end of today's journey. Again I'll come with another interesting episode. If you have any queries related to labware, feel free to comment here in the comment box. I will get back to you. Till then, bye bye.